The action of the story takes place in Ted, a successful author, and Marion, their roofed beach house on an island. Pictures of their two sons, Tom and Timmy, who tragically passed away in a car accident a few years ago, are everywhere in the house, with the shock still having an impact on Marion. Ted is concentrating on his work but has depression from their deaths. Alice looks after Ruth and she is aware of the incident that claimed the lives of her brothers. One day, Ted hires Eddie as his assistant to help with menial tasks and drive him since his license had been suspended three months prior. He talks to Marion about Eddie, and they discuss how their relationship has soured since the death of their sons. Marion accepts Ted's suggestion that they take a break from one another. Ruth has a terrifying dream that same night and seeks solace from Ted. She falls asleep after Ted reads her a story. Then, using Ruth's dream as inspiration, he starts to write a book. Eddie is beginning his new job as Ted's assistant the following morning, so Marion goes to pick him up. He is immediately drawn to Marion when he sees her instead of Ted. After taking him to Ted's house, Marion returns to her hotel. Ted meets with Eddie and goes over his job responsibilities. Additionally, he informs him that he will be residing in the home going forward. He is thrilled to be working with Ted because he looks up to him and aspires to be a successful author like him. While showing him around the house, Ted talks to him about the state of his marriage to Marion, who they are currently separating from. As the narrative goes on, it becomes clear that Marion spends a day at the hotel so Ruth can spend time with both of her parents. Additionally, he meets Alice, Ruth's babysitter, who is a nice girl and also a published author. In addition to painting, Ted works with a model named Evelyn to take photos. He frequently depicts young girls in skimpy attire in his paintings. Eddie goes to the theater with Marion after she visits the house one day. She explains to him that she doesn't eat well at home, so she came to have dinner. Eddie returns to the house later that evening. He looks at a picture of Marion and starts to sex himself, but Ted and Ruth manage to catch him, narrowly avoiding being apprehended. Eddie visits the beach the following day and observes Marion while she is wearing a bikini. He discovers her underwear when he gets home later. He starts to make love to himself once more, but Marion catches him. She apologizes for having caught him and assures him that she is not upset with him because everyone at his age does it. Eddie admits to thinking about her ever since they went on their first date. When Eddie made his confession the following day while being dropped off at Evelyn's house, Marion remained silent. Marion had left her underwear there for him that evening, he notices. Eddie and Marion go out to dinner together, and during their conversation, they discuss the reasons he doesn't ask Alice out on a date. She is informed by Eddie that Alice has no interest in him. They return home after having a lengthy conversation. The following day, Marion visits Eddie's room and explains to him the significance of each picture there. She seduces him and they get close during this conversation. The following day, Ted takes Eddie out and reads his book to a crowd of onlookers. Eddie discovers that Ted bases his books on his own experiences. Ted, when they get home, thank you for being here, Eddie. Marion has been happier than she has been in a long time since he arrived. A few nights later, Ruth enters Marion's room and observes Eddie and Marion having a sexual encounter. When Ruth witnesses Eddie and Marion having a private moment, she begins to cry. She is consoled by Marion. The following day, after learning about the relationship, Ted speaks with Eddie about it. Ted informs Eddie that he wants custody of Ruth and that he wants him to testify on his behalf in the divorce case. And he queries Marion as to why she remains with Ted. She responds that Ted is a good father who looks out for Ruth. She also says she despises him for his propensity for painting and for taking pictures of her in her underwear. After a few days, Eddie asks Marion one evening about the incident that claimed the lives of her sons. Marion breaks down in tears and remains silent. The same evening, Ruth was shown pictures. She misplaces one, cutting her finger. She is taken to the doctor by Eddie and Marion. Ted chastises Eddie for giving Ruth the photos. He understands that Ruth should remain with Marion after the divorce because she will be content there. The following day, Marion begins crying and tells Eddie that she is leaving soon as they are having a sexual encounter. Ted, who has grown fixated on Evelyn, hires Eddie to deliver all the paintings back to her. The time he visits Evelyn's home. Angered, she tells him that Ted must visit her on Friday while Eddie is gone. He breaks through the window to help Evelyn after she unintentionally locks herself out of the house. In the evening, Marion tells Eddie that he will deliver Ted to Evelyn's house on Friday but won't return that way. Ted will have to travel alone home, allowing Marion to take all the photos of her sons with her. The following day, when Eddie delivers Ted to Evelyn's house, she is furious and tears up all the paintings that Ted had sent. When Eddie returns home, he takes Ruth to the doctor by himself. That when Marion leaves, she won't be there. In the meantime, Evelyn stalks Ted and tries to run him over with her car. However, he rushes to the beach before asking to have a damaged picture fixed in a photo shop. Considering that he is aware that Ruth will be upset if she doesn't see her mother and the picture when she gets home, 
He is denied access to it by the manager. However, the manager agrees after Eddie writes to them and describes the situation, including his and Marion's affair. Gibson's depiction. Ted succeeds in escaping and finds himself at a bookstore, where he is surrounded by friends. Two young girls who are his big fans catch his eye as he begins signing autographs. He requests their permission to drop him off at his home. He first changes his clothes at the girl's house where they take him. The girls and their mother then enthusiastically agree when he says that he wants to paint them. Ted arrives home early with the girl's assistance and observes Marion leaving. She eventually departs for New York with him saying nothing to her, and he returns to the house carrying Ruth. Ted strikes Eddie in the nose out of rage. Ted is informed by Eddie that Marion has left for good and has taken all of her son's photographs. Eddie is let go by Ted, who also requests that he leave the following day. Ted finds it challenging to look after Ruth and her babysitter after Marion leaves. Alice quits her position. Ted shares with Eddie that their children passed away in an accident and that he is upset about everything. Due to their intoxication and inexperienced driving, they collided with a truck, which helped to lessen the pain. Ruth was born to Marion, but nothing changed as a result. Eddie is saddened by the tale and cannot fathom Marion's decision to abandon her daughter. The following day, Ted is visited by Evelyn's servant, who informs him that Evelyn has fired him. In addition to hiring his wife to cook and watch over Ruth, Ted also hires him as a driver. Eddie bids Ted farewell before returning home. Servants of Evelyn and his spouse. Ruth needs her good care. The movie comes to an end here.